Hey guys, so um, I spent some of my quarantine time trying to get my aircraft carrier to float and a uh, little bit of a trial and error. It's, flo it's actually floating away from me right now. I'll have to go get it. A um, little bit of a trial and error, but I finally got it to work. Now, I have um, three aircraft carriers. I have one in the basement, which is complete and is the one that I had when I was a kid. And then I bought another one just to kind of complete the other one. So this is what I consider my parts. Oh, it's coming back to me. The wind's blowing. How nice is that? Thank you. Um, so this is kind of one that I bought to complete the other one, but it's actually more complete than I thought it was. And then I actually have one in the box, which is pretty crazy. Um, someone opened the box, but all the contents are sealed. It's pretty wild. Anyway, so what I wanted to share for people who are crazy enough to want to do this is how I did it. Um, it's not perfect because, you know, the aircraft carrier has a, a front and a, and a back, you know, and those are parts of the toy. But, you know, perfection is the enemy of good, as they say. So how I did it really comes down to three ingredients. That's it. That's all you need to float your aircraft carrier. Four ingredients. Okay. Number one is zip ties. So I zip tied all of the planks together. Right, because there's no real, they don't snap together. They basically sit on top of these, like, these uh, stilts, essentially. Um, so what I did was I zip tied them. Then what I did, and I'm just going to roll, roll us around here, is um, I got these wire, so these are the wire shelves that I used for my, uh, not wire shelves, these are the, the, the metal shelves I use for my amps. Now there's two shelf sizes. So this one's a little bit more narrow and the one in the back is a little bit wider, right? But there's only two ones that they offer, right? And then what I did was I zip tied that um, to the surface, like kind of in the, these areas. And then what I did was I bungeed boogie boards. I only had two boogie boards. So two shelves, two boogie boards, um, and that's what I did with that. So that's pretty amazing. So basically that's all you need. Then, and you can see like some of the shelf here, right? Um, so what I found with the um, superstructure is that like, especially in the pool or if it's like any wind or whatever, you know, the superstructure will kind of like, you know, come apart sometimes, right? So what I found was, you know, little ways to kind of zip tie the pieces to each other. You know, so I kind of went in there and zip tied. So, you know, it's not perfectly clean, but if you want to actually put this in the pool or whatever. And like I zip tied around here, um, you know, just to keep this thing uh, tight. Um, what else? What else? What else do you need to know? Oh, underneath here, I have these like kickboard kitty kickboards that i got at dick sporting goods they're like 11 dollars each you absolutely need that now if i get rid of these kickboards um the aircraft carry will not sink it'll just dip you know it'll dip down like this right um and that's it this thing i have um like a piece of plastic under here and then this rests on here this thing's you know this is tricky because this thing doesn't have holes so i couldn't i couldn't really zip tie it um but what's really great about it other than it just being epic i didn't put a lot of guys in here because ah man all right i messed up the x x19 but um i don't like putting a lot of action figures in here because they you know if, if they fall in the pool i gotta go get them um but it's really like i mean it really can stand like waves and stuff like that see that and then in terms of it just gliding across the water um i'll just set it I'll set it to sail. Let's we'll see what happens here. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Woo. -hoo. All right. It's not, he's not the straightest driver in the world, but as you can see, it's pretty epic and, um, pretty simple to do. So you just need two shelves, you know, make sure the shelf lengths, um, shelf widths, um, uh, kind of fit underneath the planks. And then you'll see under there, you know, it's, it's literally just zip ties. And that's it. That's all it took. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed 
my USS flag floating. the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. Team, team.